Yeah. Because you have here that you've uh, preacher curled a 154 pound dumbbell. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't post the video of it just because like, I mean, you don't know this, but the, that, that day that you guys all came down the first day of filming, um, mm -hmm. we were in that garage. You remember how hot it was in that garage? Yeah. I, I look yeah. like I jumped in a swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like 93 outside and in the garage, it had to be 115, especially with the, the lights and everything, those huge lights they had. Um, oh, yeah. So that night, uh, I, I had some like heat exhaustion, really bad headache, like migraine level headache felt like. Well, yeah, and that's also because you, you were in there the whole time. Yeah. I mean, other people so, would kind of file in to do their interview or to do their little their little feet. But right. you were in there with the film crew like the whole time. And, and I mean, it, it probably I don't I don't want to be like over exaggerating it but it, you you were almost like in, in a sauna for like the whole day yes like, yeah that's what it felt like and and the <laughs> next morning i woke up feeling awful and the next morning was the day that they were going to film me for three hours three to four hours we ended up doing feats of strength and then after that they interviewed me for six and during those three to four hours it was it was like the first thing I did because I told him, look, if I'm going to do this, I got to do this like now was I, I had a little bit of a warm up and then I did a 154 pound preacher curl because that was always my lifetime goal. It was my original weight class in arm wrestling, 154. It was on, you know, my sorry little weak bicep that everybody used to rip through, you know. And, and it was just, it was just one of those things where I was like, I wonder if I could get up to 70 kilograms, 154 pounds. And, uh, was that so, like a plate loaded setup? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. yeah. Plate loaded. To make yeah. that uh, exact and everything. Yeah. Yeah. We weighed it, everything like that. Um, then, uh, they had me bending, uh, uh, like 20 inch, uh, by half, half inch cold rolled steel, uh, some some smaller um, uh, horseshoes. Uh, I was my elbow was healthy back then, so I was closing like number three grippers and stuff for them. Um, doing pull ups with over a hundred pounds around my waist, stuff like that for them. Mm -hmm. um, just pretty much anything, anything they wanted me to do. I ended up doing like a five hundred pound deadlift for four reps or something. Like they had me do like all of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, and dude, I mean, I, I just, I felt so awful from, from the night before, you know what I mean? But I somehow was able to do all this stuff, you know, um, I, I didn't share any of it cause it's going to end up in the, in the film or some of it, it will. And also yeah. because like, I, I wasn't filming it. I was just like, you guys, if you want to document this, just know that I've had my eyes set on this goal, you know, for more than 10 years. You know, I wanted to. And, and, to and, and so you haven't you haven't had access to that footage. That's just stuff that no, they've done. No, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then yeah. that'll be kind of cool if you get to see that kind of, uh, like you said, have right. to wait a year for the documentary. Maybe I'll tell you what. You see it, like, if those motherfuckers don't put it in that movie, they're sending me a clip of that because bullshit. Yeah. You'd have to. Yeah. You'd have to. Yeah. I mean, even if it doesn't right. make the final cut, like at least send me right. that footage, like. Come on! I did like they had me do multiple reps of just a hundred pound dumbbell hanging here. Um, uh, just uh, I, I think I I, I pinched two forty fives or transferred two forty fives. I can't remember. Um, just some you know, just some. I I, I was reversing sixties, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean, just you know, I, I it was I tore some cards, uh, tore a good sized phone book. You know, it was one of the only ones I had left. And it was kind of, man, it was like one of those that you leave in the garage. And for the, mm -hmm. you know, people that don't live like where the humidity is here, you leave a phone book or cards in a garage, you know, in this sort of climate, it, it gets a little harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they get a lot harder. So, uh, but yeah, they just, I mean, man, they just, I just worked so hard for those four hours, you know, and then we went and got food. And literally, they wanted to come to my office and interview me. So we were in my office, and they conducted, you know, interviews for it, it was it was morning until it got dark out. That's how long we we spent. So yeah. it was it was a lot. But uh, 
but yeah, I mean, I was able to, I put a lot of pressure on myself. It's like, here's a documentary crew here. I've been, you know, prepping for this lift for 10 years. I'm pretty sure I can do it, but who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. And the other thing people don't realize too, is that, you know, people think, well, yeah, you know, you throw that dumbbell over there, you get cocky at some point. It's like, no, every time I threw a dumbbell over a preacher bench that weighed a hundred plus pounds, you know, it, you get a you get a little nervous. The thought crosses your mind that you could tear your bicep. I mean, there yeah. are bicep tear compilations on the internet for people trying to do heavy preacher curls. So, oh, yeah. so for me, it was like you know, it, every time I would do something like that, I was nervous enough. I didn't need you know the documentary crew there to help with the nerves. But but what did I do think the nerves helps a little bit. Um, you know, there's a there's a psychological theory. It's called Yerkes Dotson's law, and and what it dictates is that there's an optimal level of excitement, anxiety, arousal for any given task. And I think, you know, I can't say how many mornings, you know, I'd be out there, and it's like I just don't feel like I'm waking up. And then once yeah. I put that heavy dumbbell over there, I'm like okay, shit's getting real right now. And all of a sudden I'm alert. You know, it's like I hit an ammonia salt under my nose or something. I'm like, yeah. you know, this is about to get fucking real, you know? And, and you know, there's a part of me that loves that feeling. And I think there's a part of me that, that that's that's why I do it. But, you know, I always, I had all these people on the internet that would always be like, oh man, someday your bicep's going to tear and it's going to be in a compilation. And, you know, they're almost rooting for it. And oh, they just... Yeah. I don't know. They think that I just fucking train like a stunt man or something, you know, like I just go out and like, yeah, I'm going to fucking Tom Cruise off this building. No, <laughs> it's like I gradually built up the strength to do the thing. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not there's like, a, there's a plan. Fucking, yeah. I didn't fall off a bread truck last week and decide, you know what? I'm going to curl somebody had something heavy and yeah, something tears, something tears. No, it's not that. It's like you gradually work your way up to a point where you can do something like that. 